Okay, so there you have it, code 40. Uh, this is code 40 right here, hand laid. It starts right about here. There's just a transition joiner there that I made up and uh, runs perfectly fine. You got to make sure that the inside of the rail on code 40 is very clean though and free from any blades of grass or, you know, debris. But it sure looks the part, doesn't it? And then this is code 55. And if you want, I'll show you uh, how it runs on there as well. It actually runs on code 55 beautifully. I could have laid all of this on code 55 and it would really look the part for branch line, you know, short line rail, right? It's funny, isn't it? That, uh, so look right here. So this is code 70, right? I don't even have code 83 on this one. Glover Road was all code 83. Code 70, code 55, code 40, right? And you can see it runs, you know, beautifully on code 55. Uh, those are on uh, styrene ties, but, you know, if a person wanted to go fast tracks, like order a few bags of their uh, wooden ties and code 55 with uh, micro spikes, boy, you could really do a nice little shelf layout, you know. Um, and even the, um, you know, the micro-engineering code 70 painted looks really good, too. But it runs beautiful on code 55 too. So. Great uh, rail, you know, for yards in HO, you know, if you're into the, you know, the immersive little railroad, right? Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Things are looking good, though, eh? Cheers.